This question is simple because you are telling me you're at a brokerage that doesn't have training but you want more training. So there's only one of two things you can do here. Number one, you can seek out mentors at other firms or classes or people like me online that can help you, but it's only gonna go a certain way. You're gonna probably want some interaction with other people, and I'm telling you, you're not gonna get that at your small boutique broker based on what you've said. I'm assuming that there's not a lot of agents, it's small, your broker's a practicing broker, and you went there because of a high split, and I'm telling you, there's a trade-off, right? You want a high split, don't expect a lot from your broker. And I, I see this all the time with agents of, my broker doesn't provide me anything. You're in a 90-10 split, my friend. They shouldn't provide you anything. They're actually probably losing money on you. Like, I understand broker business just as well I know I understand agent business. And brokers, at a 90-10 split, I promise you, friends, I promise you, they're not making much money off of you. So you're expecting the world for nothing, right? For nothing, they're not getting anything. They're probably losing a lot of money getting 10% from you and all their other agents. That's why the big brokers, which a lot of people don't like, go, well, they have a franchise fee and they have this other fee and this other fee. They're providing a lot. They've got the website, they've got the business cards, they've got everything set up, they've got the brick and mortar, they've got private offices, they've got phones, they've got it, right? And so you have to think, when you look at a true business model, there's pros and cons. You want a high split? Go to that brokerage. If I were you, this is what I would do. I'd probably look down and put down a piece of paper and go, what do I need right now? I need training. I need support. I need energy. I want to be in an office with agents. I want to be around successful agents. You're probably going to need to either go to meetups or go to MLS networking events or YPN events or you're gonna to have to join a brokerage that has that culture, right? And what's gonna happen is you're gonna go there and you're gonna hate it so much because you're gonna go, wow, I feel like they're robbing me. And But what you have to do is sit down and go, what is the true value, right? Small boutique brokerages, guess what? They may not be able to offer a lot right now because it's expensive. When you're doing it on scale with these big brands, they have the infrastructure to put the technology in place. They have the infrastructure to put the training in place. They have the pros to bring them in to put it all in place. And you have to decide what you want. Now, let me give you a little twist here. If I had a team, or I was a single agent, right? But I was doing a lot of volume. I had leads coming in. I had my stuff down, my business. I may not want to give a big, big split to a franchise and I might want to go to a boutique because I now know how to generate leads. I now have all the training. I now know all of this, right? And if I know all this, I want a bigger split. They're gonna have a cap at big brokerages. I might go to a boutique. So I think you have to really think about what you want. If you're looking for training, I'm telling you at the wrong spot. Your, bro your broker is practicing, it's a boutique brokerage. They're in the best interest just to keep, probably keep the doors open. They're in the best interest to helping their own clients to keep the doors open and making their income. When you go to a big firm, they make salaries, right? Because corporate's paying them and they have systems in place, they have admins in place, they have training in place, they have marketing in place, they have everything in place. And I think what you have to do is decide what you really want. Truly, you have to think what you want in this situation because there's pros and cons. You can't have both, my friends. It, it doesn't work. A broker's not gonna lose money. As much as they want you as their agent, they're not gonna lose money on you. It doesn't make financial sense. And sometimes we just have to get over that, truly.